Hi everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to my channel. Quick uh, note, this is an adult channel and the videos on this channel are made for adults and not intended for children in any way, shape or form. Um, I posed a question on the Jade Summer Artwork Colouring page on Facebook last week. I mentioned that I had over 70 Jade Summer Colouring books in my collection and people were I mean, I'm impressed because that's quite a lot of books. I have over 200, probably nearer 300 colouring books in all. I haven't counted them for a while, so I might do that at some point. And I asked, would you like me to do a video and I'll show you what I've got? And they were all like, yeah, yeah, show it. We'd like to see that. So this is this video. So I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel and put the link onto Facebook, just simply because it's going to be too big to upload, I think. So I've got two piles. Well, I've got three at the moment, but basically I keep them sectioned in on one shelf. They've got a shelf to themselves, which is how this conversation got started. Um, and I keep all the ones I've coloured in on one side and all the ones I haven't on another. So I know what I've worked in and what I haven't. And then whips have a, another shelf where I just keep all my whips, regardless of, of what book it is. So I'm going to start with the ones I haven't coloured in, and then I'm going to go on to the ones I have. Um, when it's ones I have, unless it's a page I've coloured this month, I'm going to show you what I've coloured. So obviously stuff I'm colouring this month, you'll see at the end of the month. So let's go. So the first book I have, um, this is quite a new one for me, is um, Lazy Animals. Sorry about the light on the, the thing. There's not a lot I can do about that. Than, ah, that's better. Just move it across slightly. Let me just move that. That's it. And that moved it back. So let me just move. I'm just going to get the camera right. That's better. So I've got Lazy Animals. I only got this the other week, so I haven't had a chance to colour in it. As you know, this, this month is a bit of October, so uh, we're all kind of focusing on uh, Halloween ones. I'm just trying to get this to the right height. So do excuse me while I... That's as high as it'll go. So yeah, Lazy Animals. Normally, obviously, we focus in like that when we're filming, just to show you this. So that's that one. That's number one. Although it wasn't the first one I got. Number two is one of the more recent ones, and this is Majestic Animals. I really like the pictures in this. This is something I wouldn't normally colour in, but I really liked the designs. What happens is when they publish a new book, I go over to the Jade Summer website and have a look at the sample images they've posted, and if I like the look of them, I order the book. Most of the books I just order blind because I love Jade Summer, but something like this I'd check the images out first. So if you want to flip through of any of these, I'm happy to do one. Just let me know in the comments below. But do please check out my uh, flip through playlist because there are quite a few Jade Summers on there. That's number two. Number three is another new one to me that I got, which is Baby Dragons. I bought a copy of this for my mum as well. So again, I haven't had time to colour in this one. But it's so cute that I do really want to get started in this. I love this one. Number three. Number four is the Stuffed Animals colouring book. I have that one. And I love the pictures in this book. Number five is Stained Glass Flowers. They've got two books called Stained Glass Flowers. I think it's Stained Glass Flowers. And I've got both of them, but I haven't coloured this one yet. That's that one. And I like these ones. I like this style of picture. So that's number five. And then number six is Fantasy Kids. I love this book. I think it's so cute. I've just got so many books and I just don't have time to colour in them all. Because I'm trying to colour in everything. And I like to colour different styles and different um, artists. Was that number six? Number seven is Steampunk. Again, I haven't had a chance to colour in this one, though I do want to. Number seven. Next view. Uh, number eight is a secret jungle. I will admit I am trying to collect as many of them as I can because I like these. And the way I look at it is with the duplicates, um, when Jennifer's older, if she wants them to colour in, I don't have to buy her a colour book, she can have one of these. Number nine is the anime colouring book. Number 10 is Christmas mandalas. I love Christmas, I love mandalas and I love Christmas, so this was, I had to get this one. And obviously I'll be carrying this fairly soon because we're getting towards it. The end, I've forgotten what number one now. Is that number 10? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, yeah, that's the first 10. Number 11 is Greek mythology, which is nice. Love the pictures in that. 
Number 11 is Tattoo Colouring Book Volume 2. It's 12. 13 is Tattoo Grayscale. So this is Tattoos Volume 1. Fourteen is the emoji colouring book. Now I thought with this one it was going to be horrendous because I thought it was all going to be yellow, but it's actually not. There are lots of different colours and different pictures you can put in, you know, so different things you can colour, so I was quite pleased with that. Number fifteen is the princesses colouring book. This is so cute. And this has got like the different fairy tales. 16 is Mermaids. Again, I want to colour in this one, but I haven't got around to it yet. 17 is A Beach Vacation. I haven't had one of those this year. But this is a lovely book. Oh dear. 17 is Beautiful Dresses. I think that's 17. This is a nice one as well. I've got a page marked out in here to actually colour, but I haven't got around to it yet. We're still on ones I haven't coloured in. 18 is Animal Graffiti, so I will be doing that one at some point soon. 19 is Masks. Love this book. And number 20 is Art Nouveau. This one intimidates me. I love the pictures in it, but I'm a bit too scared to colour them at the moment. 21 is flower bouquets. I do like colouring flowers, so I will get around to that. Is that 21? Yeah. 22, I think. Let me just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Something like that, anyway. It's over 70, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Fantasy uh, colouring adventure. I will count them up at the end and tell you how many they are. Then I've got Wonderful Christmas. As you can see, I've got a page picked out in this, but I, I never got around to colouring it last Christmas, so I will be definitely colouring it this Christmas. I love my Christmas colouring books. On to the last few that I haven't coloured in. So we've got Chibi Animals. I got this one quite recently because I just thought I want some cute animals. And we've got Chibi Girl Horror which obviously I've got out for October, so I will be colouring in that one this month. And I have picked this witch, because I thought she was cute. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'll put that back in my Halloween pile. And the newest one I've got arrived today, um, there's one more after this, and that is um, Halloween Patterns. So this is the brand new one, it's only just come out. I am looking forward to colouring in this. I mostly colour it my patterns with gel pens and markers and I cannot wait to get started in this one. I'll be starting in this one later today. The last one I've, I've started colouring this picture in Cute Christmas. I started this in July but never finished it. Um, let me just find it for you so you can see. And it was this gingerbread man, but I wasn't sure what this stuff in the back is. Is it is it green stuff? Is it snow? Is it icing? That looks like a floor. And baubles and stuff and bows, but I, I'm I'm not sure. I think it might be tinsel. Who knows? And this is sort of done with metallics at the moment, metallic gel pens. So, but that's cute Christmas. I'm going to stop this now. Move them out of the way so I can get the ones I have coloured in. Okay, I've just put those lot away, rather than keeping them all out. So next we've got, we're on to the ones I've actually coloured in now. So I'm going to actually show you what I've coloured, even though it might take me a while to find them because they're not marked. So 50 Easy Mandela, this is one of the new ones. And these books I do do in order, and I've done this one and this one. As you can see, that's metallic, it's glitter. I have done the next one, which you will see at the end of the month. So that goes into a different pile. Next one, um, these are the ones that I've kept out for Halloween. So we've got Haunted House. I've only done one in most of these books, unless it's a pattern book. Um, and this book is weird, but I love it. And it's this one I've done. 
and then dark fantasy. I've got this with my Halloween books because it is quite, there's some quite horrible stuff, not horrible but quite nasty stuff in it so it's quite good for Halloween and I have done, if I can find it, this one, it's my grey vampire, that was done with polychromos, it was this year I think. Then we've got vampires and these are not the grayscale ones, I don't have the grayscale ones because I bought them the line art and I don't want to buy um, line art and grayscale, although I might do eventually if they're still available once I've coloured what I wanted to, I mean I might get them if I run out of other stuff to buy. <laughs> but with Jade some of that is unlikely, I can't find the one I've done now, definitely done one in here. Let me find it for you. I do like vampires. I want definitely want to do something in here. Um, I've done. I did that one, and I think that was done with colour softs. Do went colour softs. That one. And I do have vampires too as well. And I did I think this one. I can't remember what pencils they were done with. Prismas, I think. But there's that one. And then of course I have the Halloween colouring book and what have I done in this one? I think I've done a couple in this one. Yeah, I done did that one and this one and I think I'm doing that in order. I think that's is that order? Apart from the first one, I haven't done the first. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it in order and that's all I've done in that one so far but that's two in that one. This one's not published anymore since that print, Everyday Horror. <clears throat> Took me ages, I had a whip in this for such a long time and I wasn't enjoying it and then I thought, I'm going to finish it. Yeah, go for it, I'm going to actually do it. And I did finish it and now I can't find it. And it's, uh, I, you would have seen these in my horror pictures. Anyway, here we are, it was the, the vampires at the water cooler or as I call them, lawyers. That's just a joke, don't worry. I'm actually pleased with the way it turned out in the end. I do actually quite like it. So this is one I will be colouring in again. I'm looking forward to colouring in it again. Because we don't want to do all horrible stuff in Halloween, I've also got Cute Witches. I love this book. Again, they've brought this out in grayscale, but I've only got the line art version. And I've only done one in this one, which is this one. I enjoyed doing that one. I think she's really pretty. Of course, I had to have Nightmare. And again, I've only done one, most of them I've only done one in, it's my bad, I know, I've got so many colouring books. But I did do Death, um, and this was um, my interpretation of the colour, I really enjoyed this, was Touch New Markers and Gel Pens. And I thought I wanted to make him kind of like Death from Discworld, so, because I'm a big Discworld fan. And then of course I've got Kawaii Horror. Um, I like this book, and again they Lincoln brought out the grayscale, I don't know. Have they? I don't know if they have, I couldn't wait anyway. And I like this one. Again, I was done with markers, I'm not sure which ones though. I'll probably I'll use Everblends. But yeah, I do love Jade Sun books, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have Sugar Skulls, and I do like Sugar Skulls. I wasn't into them before but now I am and again as it's a pattern book is one I'm doing in order and I've only done this one which I did last month with uh, gel pens and I've got neon gel pens and neon glitter gel pens on there. Right next I've got unicorns because <clears throat> who doesn't love a unicorn or two let me just see this is grace this is the unicorns grayscale book and I've got to find the one I've coloured because I definitely have coloured one in here just finding where it is. Have I? I'm sure I have. Yeah, here it is. And that was done with Arteza Everblends, I'm sure, because they're the, my go-to markers. And there's some gel pen on there for the glitter, like on his horn and her crown. I like that book. I really like that book. And of course, I've got Unicorns Volume 2, which is the line art. I have only done one in here and that's this one and I was doing it with a particular colour and that colour ran out so I had to change it as you can see the body's a different colour to the head but at least I managed to get done and that was done with touch new or touch five markers and gel pens 
and Wink Costello looking at it. So we've got Hidden Garden. And I've only done one in here because I'm not very good at doing more than one in a book. Like that one. Oh well, I quite like that. Another one of their mermaids books. I am trying to just do one picture in every book I've got so that I can then go back and do more. But I am I'm quite tempted in November, I'm just going to colour what I want regardless of what book it's in. Um, that way I can revisit because I want to do something in this one as well and I love this picture. I think she's so, these two are so pretty. That one. And then I have got Under the Sea. Again, I don't think this one's available. It might be the, uh, the, the it might be Island Paradise that's not available anymore, I'm not sure. <clears throat> so I wanted this one and I couldn't get it. It was out of stock. And then I got Island Paradise. And this one came back in stock, which is unusual for Jade Summer because they don't normally. Where's the one I've done? It should be around here somewhere. There it is. And I did the treasure chest under the sea. I have no idea what pencils it was, but uh, it was a while ago now. And I just went over with a light blue over everything so it looks like it's all underwater. Again, Island Paradise is next. Then I said I got this one because I couldn't get under the sea. But I really like this. Or I got under the sea because I couldn't get Island Paradise. It was one of the two, but I managed to get it in the end. And again, I've only done one in here. Is. I do like it though. Just gotta find which one I did. Oh, I'm hopeless. I should have marked all these first. Let me find it. Oh, there it is. It's her sunbathing girl there. Eh? I've gotten better since I did this one, I, I think, with skin anyway. And I thought her skin was quite good because it looks like she's getting sunburned. Um, I think I'm getting better. I don't know. I think so. I've got the Alice in Wonderland book. This is the line art version, not the grayscale. I remember I took this to hospital when I was having Jennifer. I never coloured in it. Never coloured at all yet. I was in there for over a week. I don't know why. But I did do this one. I think I started this one when I was in there. Um, Prismas, I think. Quite like that one. Sadly, their original Alice book's not available anymore because I would have liked that one. But there we go. Flower Girls. I like this book. Uh, I just love anything like this. I love colouring people. I've always liked colouring people. They've always been my favourite things. I'm not so much animals, but I'm trying to get better at animals. So I did that one. Oh, I'm just shaking the thing. This is going to be a long video. I've got a huge stack still to go. Um, then we've got Cute Fairies. Again, I love this book. I think this is stunning. This is the sort of thing. I'm, I'm going to get my mum the four in one, which has got Cute Fairies in it. And I've done this one, I did her in blue and it's pencil and crayons and, and glitter pens. I don't know what happened to her hair, it seems to be half finished. But uh, yeah, I like her, she's pretty. Obviously there's some glitter gel pens on there. Chippy Girls Grayscale, which is two books in one. I think I've done more than one in this book. I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, yeah, I did... Uh, this one and I enjoyed that and then I had a big comment that the curtains ties should have been gold and I thought well no because the theatre I go to they're not gold they're purple and the ties are purple so and I also do, I want to do that one I did another one so I might find it did the movie star I want to do a Cleopatra one actually I want to do them all because these are the books and I did this one which is like the the film star. I think she's like a film star going to a premiere. And so she's got Wink Costello and some glitter gel pen and some silver gel. I think that's the only other one I've done in it. But I will just check because it is a book I like. I think that's it, yeah. I need to do more in that one. I really like that book. Then we've got the Kawaii Grayscale book. Now I did have Kawaii Girls as a free PDF to review from them. I think I've done more than one in this one as well. And there's this one, the, this one I did on the channel, the uh, the Irish one for St. Patrick's Day. Gosh, 
that was that's such a long time ago. I'm sure I've done another one in here. I bet you I haven't now. I'm sure I have. I love this book. Again, I need to do more in here. Yeah, I have. There we are. So as you can see, this is our teaser. It's gone through yellow even though I let it dry first. I'm not worried about that because I'll just cover that when I colour it. Oh, it was all red. There's no wonder. And it was this one. And it is the reds that seem to, to do that. But it doesn't bother me. It's the only book I've had that happen on. And that's that one. Again, this one I think is out of print. Uh, Delicious Desserts. I love this book, but again, I've only done one in it, and this this one. And I remember doing this, and it's got stickles on it, and I really enjoyed colouring it, and colouring all the different bits, and the different cupcakes, and oh, it was a couple of years ago now, but I really remember doing it, and I really enjoyed it. And the balloons, different colours, oh. Spent some time colouring, I can tell you. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales. I think this one's out of print now as well, unfortunately. I know somebody was asking about it. And again, I've only done one in it. And I, I think I started doing this one in order. Yeah. And um, I did Cinderella. And I did the cut title page for that. And this was Prism Colours. And there's obviously stickles on it. Um, on her dress. And on, obviously, where it says Cinderella. And I really loved the way this turned out. I would never remember what blues I used, but then any other light blues will do. But I do know his coat was Tus Tuscan red. Um, but yeah, I'm really, actually looking at that, I really like that one. So I don't know if you can see the sparkle on it, but it is very sparkly. <laughs> The only one of the motivational ones I've got is Live Your Dreams. I'm really not big into colouring these, but I did like this one. And I probably will get the others. And this was on with Sharpies, I believe. And metallic pens. Always dream big. As you can see, that star's printed on there. And printed itself on there. So it couldn't have been quite dry when I shut it, but it hasn't gone through. But I like that. Actually, I might have to do something else in this one. Right, I'm going to get another stack. I won't be a sec. Okay, just going to start the next pile. This is the kids' colouring book Space. Um, again, this is one of the ones that they've said isn't very popular, and somebody said it was because it was too busy for kids. Yeah, it probably is quite busy. I enjoy it. And I've only done the one page because I haven't had it that long. And oh, that's actually quite shiny on that metallic. And this was done with Crayola crayons. Not pencils, just your bog standard Crayola crayons. I've got a 96 set and I bought it just to just do some straight colouring and have some fun. And I will use it in any of the books that I have got that I feel I'm going to just colour this with crayons because I feel like doing that and I really enjoyed doing it. It took me a while but I enjoyed doing it so I'm glad I got them. Eventually Jennifer will probably have them and she'll probably have the book as well. We have the ocean colouring book and again I've only done the one I know. When we get to the patterns there'll be a lot more and we did the colouring this one and again I think this was done with our teasers. No it wasn't it was done with twi markers or limaches. Limaches, I want to say. I'm not sure. Yeah, Limaches, I think. And I just love the colours. It was really nice. That was good fun. Uh, ancient Egypt. This one's not available anymore. I know that. And I'm hoping they will bring out another Ancient Egypt book because haha, <laughs> I will be buying that. I have a big thing about Ancient Egypt. Got lots of books on it. And I watch lots of documentaries. And I did this one of Anubis. And I actually really love it. And this was done with, that was done with Limaches, definitely. I know I still haven't done my Limache with you and it will be coming soon. But oh, I love this picture. I'm really pleased with that. I mean, I know there's no shading, it's just a straight colour, but I just like the way it looks. I really like the way it looks. And then we've got Light Fantasy. I love this. This is a lovely book. I love the pictures in it. Oh, look at that. And I did this one, and this was done with Black Widows. This was this year, and I just love it. I'm getting more and more daring with my skin tones. Every time I do a new picture, I try something new, and I'm, I'm getting better slowly. She's very pale uh, on the camera, but she's not really. 
and I just love the green and it was lime fruits I think that's a lovely color green that's that one. and then we've got weddings I wasn't going to get this one but again I did look on the, the website of the pictures and decided I do did like it and I just did the first one and this one was done with Crayola pencils that uh, I bought for Jennifer and they're actually really quite nice pencils I might get a set for myself I don't know if I'd use them that often that's why I haven't bothered I just use hers when I want to but she does treat them very badly that one I got grayscale fairies again I only done one this is a, a, a residing theme that I only do one picture in a book I love these and I did I remember this one see now this one I've got no bleed through but there's no red on it I did this one and I really love this picture I love the way it turned out I love the colors again it was done with Arteza Everblend markers and there's some glitter gel pen on there as well just to give it a bit of sparkle okay. then we've got angels I don't know if this one's available anymore I gotta be honest again I only did one of these and this was when I was first started coloring so it's not brilliant this is one of the earlier books I bought I think it's actually not that bad actually it's better than I remember and I did here a sort of purpley lilacs and there's some metallic pencil I didn't use gels glitter on this gels which I would now if I was doing now I could use glitter gels on it but yeah it's not as bad as I remember it so mm, nice book next 100 magical patterns now this book I'm doing in order so this is going to be quite easy so uh, yeah 100 magical patterns so I've done the, for this one and this was done using Crayola super tips and it was um, Anne from A Colourful Life set a challenge to just get out a box of markers of around 100 or so or 80 or so and just use each colour as you pull it out rather than plan your colours and just do it and that's what I did and I might do that again because I really enjoyed that and I like the way it looks and then I did this one with red, orange and yellows again that was probably Crayola super tips if it's not it's Sharpies and that one I've done a few in this this was one where I just did all pink so one colour challenge with different shades of pink four different shades on there that was that was fun I'm going to do that again with green I think and then this one I think I still have, no there's one more <laughs> there's another one see this is these are the books I colour in the most I love colouring patterns I can do them when we're quizzing and oh there's another one as well so in between the rounds and in between the questions I got marker out and I'm either doing it with gel pens or with markers one of these patterns so and then I've done that one I think that really is it no there is another wow I've done quite a few in this book this is a lot for me and then I've done that one but there's still one more <laughs> again that was just glitter gel pens as you can see and then we did that one I, could, I do love these pattern books I love colouring patterns and then that one that was done with the sharpie neons I enjoyed that so that is the last one um, I got a pack of sharpie neons from Lidl's for $1.99 didn't have a green in it but it did have the blue orange and the yellow in it and I got the green out of my tub and I coloured it and that's all I've coloured in that one that one at least has got more than one in it we got a hundred amazing patterns I think Paul's colouring in this one um, I've done that one that was a nice one to do uh, that one I literally was done with I think Crayola Super Tips downstairs yeah I think it was Crayola Super Tips and then I've done this was the last one I did and then the, the only other one coloured in here is half coloured and that was one Paul's doing again with glitter gels and I just enjoyed doing it I think it looks really pretty. That's that one. Let's grab a few more. Next, I've got 100 swirls. We've done a couple in here. And there's this one. I think I was done with twine markers and a sharpie for the background. And I've done this one. I like that one. 
and this one. And then this one, what I did was I got the green, I did everything I was going to do green first, then everything I was going to do red, everything I was going to do blue, everything I was going to do yellow, and did it like that. But as you can see, it's gone through a little bit onto the peacocks, but that's fine. So that's that one. And I always tend to use markers in pattern books. And then we've got swirls for beginners. And there's just that one, I think. Yeah, just that one so far. And that's completely done with glitter pen, even the black background's been with black a gel, a glitter pen. Um, now I'd probably do a black Sharpie background uh, if I was going to do a black background. It uses up far too much glitter. But I quite like that one. And I went over all the lines, stems with silver. And I've got stained glass patterns. Again, this was done with Sharpies. I love the way this one turned out just with plain Sharpies. I think I really like the colours I chose on that one. I think it looks really pretty. I've still got to count these at the end. <laughs> stained glass flowers. This is the other stained glass flower book. And I did that one. I'm not as pleased with that one. The colours weren't as bright, but it is still nice. I still like it. And again, that was done with Sharpies. we got summer and I've done summer again probably with sharpies possibly or something like that but yeah I like that it's really quite nice and then we've got autumn and I've only done one in here I did it last month so um, that was again the first page which is all glitter gel pen I go a bit mad with glitter pens I must admit and then I've got Easter yay and in Easter but this is one of the ones that's actually got the little things but not all of them have I think I've done two in this one right Oh, hello. <laughs> That's got bits of paper in it to stop the bleed through. I've done Happy Easter. Sharpies and glitter gel pen. Have I done any more in this one or is that it? No, I have done another one. That was this year. And then I think, and then I did that one. I think, is that it? Is there another one? Oh, there's another one. And that one. So again, because it's a pattern book, I've done more than one item in it. I love patterns, it's just the way I am. Right, we're getting near the end now. It's got a lot more pattern books to come though. First of all, Christmas. Christmas colouring book. Again, I've only done one. And it was the puppy in the um, box. And it's got stickles on it. And it's just a cute little puppy jumping out of a Christmas box. It's very sparkly. You can't really tell, but it is. <laughs> I'm running out of space to put these. This stack is going to fall down. We've got Christmas Volume 2, because it always buy the Christmas ones. There's only one I think I haven't got. And I did this one. I like that, actually. Sharpies, glitter gel pens. What more do you want? I think that's it. Yep. And Christmas Volume 3. I have done, when I found it, I did that. That was done this year for Christmas in July, actually. I think that's it. Because I didn't get to colour in every book I wanted to last Christmas. Okay, we've got Christmas patterns. And I did that one. Is that the only one I've done? That's the first one, which is the cover one, which is the little things. Little penguins. Oh, and I did this one as well. This was done with um, various pens. I think it was just all done with gel pens, but the inside was done, the tree was done with normal gel and the rest of it, and um, then I put a load of glitter on some of the pieces. Oh, that's nice. I should like that one. I'll do more in that book this year. We've got intricate flowers, and I love these sorts of books. Again, these ones I do in order, I've done this one. I was going to do a background and I thought, no, I just like it the way it is. I'm going to leave it white. And then I've done this one. This one I did a two-tone background. 
and then again this one which I left white which is all done with glitter gel pen uh, oh and there's one more and this one oh I love this one actually I really do like this one this is a lovely book I'm gonna have to speed this up because it's gonna be an hour long at this rate intricate patterns again I love this book took me ages to do this one I'm not gonna lie it's the only one I've done in this book that was done with twi markers but it took me forever to do because look how detailed how much detail there is in it but I really like it right I think this is the last stack now and then I'll count them up and I'll show you where they live We've got intricate mandalas. There's so many of them. Have we? Yeah, we're all the way up. And I've done just this one. And again, this was with the toy markers. So it's not as big. It doesn't fill the space as much as the intricate patterns, but it's still as intricate. But I love this sort of stuff, so I love doing these. Then I've got the geomat geometric mandala colouring but this I love I haven't done anything in this for a while but I've done more than one oops and I did this is I've been doing this just in glitter pen I think and this is the first one I did I just love the way it looks and then I did this one and I've done this one third one in the book so again as you can see it is beveled because it's the gel pen and then I've done this one I just did this in blues silver and black and that's as far as I've got I would probably do one in red gold green and a light pink if I can find a light pink at some point but yeah I like those I do love these sort of pattern books they're my favorite so the more of those they bring up for me the better and people color by number patterns just done that one and colour by number mandalas again I've only done one in this one and that's that one and I, like, I love the colours on that one I think those colours are really nice so I'm not big on colour by numbers but I do like these two and then I've got animal mandala colouring book this one again shows you all the pictures and I've done this one of the two birds and I think that's the only one I've done in this one yeah and I did colour the background I wanted to uh, have a background so I did that I love the colours two more I think is that it two more yeah two more to go so the next one is mandalas for beginners and I've done that one is that the first one? that is the first one I remember doing that one and I did that with metallic gel pen and it actually looks better on camera than it does in real life and that's the only one I've done I must do another one in that I think and then we've got the final one is the flower mandala book now this I do like this book I don't know and again it's got the little thumbnail pictures and I think that's the only one I've done actually on that one is that oh no I've done another I've done this one as well so I've done those two. Oh no three <gasps> another one with actually more than two one or two in yep so I've done those three in that one so that is the Jade Summer colouring book collection as it stands and they're all collapsing now as of the 5th of October is it the 5th yeah um I'm not sure what day you'll be seeing this um probably Thursday I think it's probably going up Thursday so yeah I'm going to give them a count now put them back on the shelf and then I'll tell you how many I've got and I'll show you the shelf they live on so I'll be back in a minute okay I have just put them all away and I have counted them and there are 82 in total now with obviously this one being the new one I'm just going to grab the camera and I'm actually going to show you where these books normally live so just excuse me while I take the camera off so this is my bookcase where I keep my colouring books. The top shelf is all Jade Summer. So there's a bit of a gap. So these are the ones I've coloured in on this side. And these ones are the ones I haven't coloured in on that side. Down here I have all the books I've got out for Halloween. Whether I've coloured in them or not. So they're there. And on this shelf... I've got my whips, new books and completed pages for this month. So that is my Jade Summer colouring book collection. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you want to see a flip through or colouring it in any of these books on camera. And subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.